Okay, you already know, and you've heard it over and over and over since yesterday, that Mike Pence had to appear before Jack Smith's grand, excuse me, grand jury, who was investigating um, to what degree to indict a Donald Trump and send the son of a bitch to jail, hopefully for the rest of his life, after he goes through all his appeals and yada, 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 yada. But uh, what was interesting to me was that, well, what's today, Friday, <clears throat> Pence appeared on Thursday, I think on Wednesday, an appeals court uh, rejected the orange Nazis uh, uh, court filing that Mike Pence could not appear because he was, well, I own him, is more or less what Donald Trump thinks about people. I own him. He can't go. And the appeals court said, sit down and shut, shut up, Okay. Mike, you must go. And it took 24 hours after that for Jack Smith, old lightning Jack Smith, to bring this son of a bitch in and put him before the grand jury. Now, we don't know what was said or what questions were asked, although we certainly have had an abundance of pundits over the past uh, 12 hours, 24 hours, who have tried to make clear to us what the questioning probably was about. And if we... If we accept what the pundits are saying as to what the questions were probably about, I'm sure Donald Trump had to take an extra dose of uh, an antacid last night before he crawled in bed with his platter of cheeseburgers. Because Mike Pence is the top of the heap. The, uh, the silent Christian, the Christian zombie, the guy who stared at the back of Donald Trump's head for four years with that kind of Stepford Wives smile on his face, you know, just kind of a half smile, dreamy eyed. Jesus, that used to creep me out. I mean, for real. When Trump was standing there lying his ass off about this, that, or the other thing, which by that I mean he lied about everything, but when Trump would be standing there lying and lying and lying, and the super Christian would be standing behind him with this, this kind of mask, this half smile, this moon faced creature, Mike Pence, who hates gay people, hates lesbians and, 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 and queers and all kinds of people, hates them. Because, you know, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, right? But there was Mike Pence standing there while the mud and the crap and the distortion of reality that Trump was pumping out to the American people just washed all over Pence. And he never flinched. What, shit's flying all over me? Oh, I don't notice it. What, mud's flying? Is that mud or is that shit? It's going all over me. Well, I don't care. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I'm protected. Rave on, Donnie. Ah... And now Pence is considering running for the presidency? <clears throat> oh, Mike, for Christ's sake. Go back and run for governor of Indiana again. See how many people you can fuck up in your own state. Seriously. Let me grab a sip of coffee here. Oh, yeah. That's River Moon coffee. So Pence went before the grand jury yesterday. And... The purpose of the hearing, as we all know, I don't mean to add an element of redundancy to uh, what you already know, but what the hell. Uh, the purpose was to uh, discover what Jack Smith could about Trump's criminal efforts to defeat the Constitution and stay in power after he lost the goddamn election. <laughs> um, now, Pence is testifying and, and this by the way is a criminal inquiry this is not like uh, as bad as it is the uh, civil rape trial being conducted in new york against this son of a bitch trump but this is a criminal inquiry that that could ultimately determine trump's fate huh the, th the thing that I, I think is overarching all of this now is whether or not Merrick Garland, the uh, head of the Justice Department, the Attorney General, if Merrick Garland is going to say to Jack Smith at some point, okay, yo, stop, it's getting too close to an election, you've got to stop all this right now. 
I mean, it, it, at this point, it would not surprise me, given the foot dragging and the avoidance that Merrick Garland has shown, which is just disgusting. Just goddamn. Now, <laughs> let me let me qualify that just a little bit. Well, you know, what the hell do I know? I just I'm out here in the public like you are, like the rest of us are. I don't know what's going on in the Justice Department. I don't know Merrick Garland's uh, strategies or his thoughts, obviously. But the appearance to me. Little old Mike Malloy is that Merrick Garland has had ample opportunity. I mean, how long ago did Trump engineer an attempt to overthrow the government of the United States, for Christ's sake, over two years ago? Uh, And I have listened to people on MSNBC and CNN much smarter by massive degrees than I ever will be about the uh, legal ramifications of all this explain to me and to everybody else well Merrick Garland couldn't do this until he did that and he wanted to do this before he did that and okay 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 and I realize I am a, a product of the television age well aren't we all at this point but you know I want resolution man I grew up at the age of the 30-minute sitcom. Resolve the goddamn thing for me within 30 minutes. Don't make me carry it over until tomorrow. We've been carrying this shit over on Trump for six years. And I think that's one of the reasons so many of us feel so unbelievably stressed out because of this orange Nazi. When is this son of a bitch going to skate off the stage? Well, it's when he chokes to death on a big chunk of cheeseburger. I understand that. Where was I? Oh, yeah, Mike Pence. So Pence spent more than five hours, according to all the reports, behind closed doors at the federal district court in Washington. Did I say New York a minute ago? In Washington, Trump's other, the criminal, the, the, the civil rape trial is going on in New York. This one that Pence testified before the grand jury is in D.C. And Now, remember, he was subpoenaed to testify before the grand jury earlier this year, and um, MSNBC played a lot of uh, video yesterday where Pence kept saying over and over, well, I'm not going to do that. Well, that's a violation of the Constitution. Well, oh, no, 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 blah, 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 blah. And it only took Jack Smith uh, less than 24 hours to snatch the son of a bitch after the appeals court said, yes, you are, Mr. Pence. Get your ass in there. Well, actually, the appeals court said to Donald Trump, back off, bro. You can't stop this. Go eat a cheeseburger. Um, Trump tried to convince him, if you remember. God, it seems like this is all we've been talking about. Trump tried to convince him to violate his oath of office, uh, Pence's oath of office. Trump doesn't give a shit about oaths of office. Ah, give me a fucking break. What do you mean? Yeah, of course, I'll swear to anything. <laughs> now stand back. So Trump wanted Pence to violate his oath of office and, and play this critical role, this pivotal role in delaying or blocking or ripping up congressional certification of Biden's victory. And because of that, you know, Pence has been considered a key witness in this gathering of evidence that Jack Smith, the special counsel, has been involved in now since Merrick Garland appointed him. Now, there's still talk that Mike Pence is uh, considering whether or not to challenge Trump for the 2024 Republican presidential nomination. <laughs> that, that's not going to happen. Oh my! Well, okay. The the way it might happen, I think what Pence is holding off on is waiting to see how long Trump will be in prison. Okay, uh, let me reword it. Uh, he's waiting to see whether or not Trump is going to be indicted for some really serious shit, like. Uh, uh, trying to overthrow the government. And I think there's a prohibition in the Constitution that anyone convicted of that. Um, or char- is it charged with that? Maybe it's convicted. Um, can't run for federal office. I think that's the way it word- is, is worded. I should have looked it up. Huh? But um, this, this talk by people other than Pence, Pence has not come out and said, I'm going to run for the presidency. Has he? 
Maybe he has. But this talk of Pence running for the presidency is such utter bullshit. I mean, please, come on. <laughs> Pence running. <laughs> I have more of a chance than he does. <sighs> so Pence advisors had uh, apparently discussions with Justice Department officials uh, last year about providing testimony in this criminal investigation into the Orange Nazi uh, as to what degree the Orange Nazi was involved in trying to overthrow the government. But um, the talks between Pence, uh, Pence advisors, which would be his legal staff, I guess, and prosecutors, those talks like broke down and that's what led the prosecutors to seek a subpoena against the uber Christian. And they got the subpoena, and the subpoena was challenged, and then it was challenged again. And on the second challenge, the appeals court said, no, no, I'm sorry, uh, go testify. Um, and, of course, it was Pence. Th th this is what gets me about Christians, these Christian Nazis, and not you. If, if you're a Protestant or a Catholic, you go to church, you support your church, you do good works. Yeah, that's none of my business. I mean, have at it. Um, I'm, I'm sure you're doing the Lord's work as defined by, oh, let me think. Oh, I know, my grandmother. <laughs> doing the Lord's work. So I'm not referring to that sort of follower of the teachings of the rabbi from Nazareth. I'm not. I mean, if if you're that sort of Christian, good on you. I mean, I don't think you're doing anything wrong. It, it's the Christian church that corrupted this 1,800 years ago, this message. And it's the Christian fashions, fascists who have taken it to a level, a level uh, beyond which the next step could be another inquisition Oh, calm down, Mike. Take a breath. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits, like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, can, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.